The TOF10120 laser range finder or distance sensor is such a beautiful piece of hardware. I have been using this TOF distance sensor with Arduino and Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module in different projects for measuring the distance. Recently, I used it in a car parking system to help the driver safely park the car. I also used it with the Node MCU ESP8266 and Blink application for monitoring the water level from anywhere in the world. If you have never used the TOF10120 laser distance sensor, then I highly recommend watch my getting started tutorial. I will provide links in the description to all the related videos in which I used the TOF sensor. Anyways, three months back I designed an Arduino based hydroponics system using pH sensor, AC sensor or TDS sensor, DS18B20 one wire digital temperature sensor, OLED display module and TOF10120 laser distance sensor. This project was really appreciated and since then I'm getting lots of comments and emails from boys and girls requesting if I can make the same hydroponics system using the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. They actually want to see the IoT version of the same hydroponics system. As usual, before I'm going to make the complete project, first I will start with the very basics. I will individually connect each sensor with the ESP32 and then in the end we will make the complete IoT based hydroponics system. So in this episode, we will only use the TOF10120 laser rangefinder sensor with the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. One more thing that I would like to talk about to avoid any confusion. I'm going to use this development board in this series of videos. This is the same board I used in my IoT based home automation system. I have already explained each and every detail the circuit diagram and the making so if you want to make the same ESP32 development board then watch my tutorial I will provide a link in the description if in case you don't need these relays then you can simply start with the ESP32 module if you have used the TOF sensor then you should have noticed the distance values really fluctuate I have fixed this issue which I will explain in a minute I have written two codes for you guys. One is without the internet support. It's like using ESP32 as the Arduino board. I'm simply reading the distance values and sending it to the serial monitor. You can see the values are pretty constant and this is after applying the averaging technique and I also used two timers to check for any valid changes. If the value changes and remain the same for at least 4 seconds then the value is updated otherwise the timer is reset. This is how I get rid of the fluctuations. Now you can use some if conditions to control some LEDs or buzzer or a relay. Now it's totally up to you for what purpose you are going to use it. You can also let me know in a comment and by the way don't forget to like and subscribe. In this next example, I modified the code and converted it into an IoT based water level monitoring system. I designed it for a 600 mm water tank and the water level is in percentage. You can change the limits as per your requirement. Now you have got the idea of what you are going to learn after watching this video. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is exactly the same circuit diagram I explained in my IoT based home automation system using ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. The only modification is the addition of this TOF sensor. The VCC and ground wires are connected with the 3.3 volt and ground pins of the ESP32 
while the SCL and SDA wires of the DOF10120 laser distance sensor are connected with the GPIO pins 22 and 21. 22 is the SCL and 21 is the SDA. I have already explained the designing and making of this low-cost ESP32 development board in my IoT based home automation project. I connected the TOF10120 with the ESP32 as per the circuit diagram which I just explained. I have cut the UART wires and I am only using the I2C wires. For now, I am not using these relays so my interfacing is completed. All the libraries used in example number 1 and example number 2 can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. This is the example number 1 code. The purpose of this code is to read the distance and then to display the values on the serial monitor. For the detailed explanation read my article. Let's watch the TOF10120 laser distance sensor and ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module and action. This is the modified version of the code I used in example number one. I added the necessary libraries defined to timers and added the authentication token and Wi-Fi credentials. Maximum of the code remains exactly the same and the changes which I made I explained them in my article. Let's watch the ESP32 and TOF10120 based IOT water level monitoring system in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.